in the brain. Okay, so this is what how how the scientists look at this human life form. But the Buddha looked at the human life form and said that no, the body, I mean this life form, do not have just the body, and the mind is not with the brain. He said that the human life form is made up of five aggregates. Okay. That in Pali term they call khan, khanda, k h a n d a, khanda, or the five entities that make up of your human life form, which we already talk about the physical self and the mental self. The physical self is in the area of the medical science, you know, to to find out about the glory details, you know, cut your body up and fry and all these little sort of things. You know, including the brain, including the brain. But after all, they still cannot, you know, cannot resolve the problems of your mental state. So let's see how the Buddha, you know, analyzed this human life form. He said that the human life form made up of this physical self, memories, feelings, thoughts, and then this is what we call the consciousness element, which I call mental self, and later on we we'll talk. Okay, so we have talked about these two major already. Now we're going to move on to these two things, these three major. Okay, thoughts, memory, and feelings. So I have talked about this. I have already confirmed to you that we have the physical self and the mental self, and the physical self is only the shell, not the true self. The true self, in fact, is a mental self which is acting like a big boss. Now next. Next, our physical self is the part that have to deal with the everyday event. You know, the everyday event from the uh, uh, what's it? From the family environment. You deal with your partners, your families, and then you go out. You deal with people who walk the street, to the bus driver, the train driver, everything. And then when you go to the workplace, you deal with your colleagues, your boss, all this, right? So let's put all the, I mean, all the events that you come across, all the experience and events that you come across, they are both positive and negative. Now let's put the positive aside first, and then look at the negative one that give us all this headache and heartache, right? For example, being couple and then you know fighting. Well, you mean last night? Why didn't you answer my phone call? I text you about fifty-six times. You never answer my text at all. Well, you been? Have you been with your gig? Do you have the word gig in the <laughs> in Singapore? In Thailand, we have the word gig. Gig is mean you know you have someone else that is not important. Like, you know, or whatever. Okay, and then fight, 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 and then I hate you now. I don't want to be with you, so you walk away. And then what happened after a fierce argument? You go to sit on the toilet alone, and then you still argue in your head, right? You argue in your head. You know the memory come back. You know one full sentence hack at you, and then you hack back with your what's it in your head? You still carry on with the fighting in your head. This is what people do. Okay, here's another example. You know, you go to the market, you buy the orange, 100 baht a kilo, and then you have the price down to 20 baht a kilo. <laughs> and I said, oh, you stupid woman, you mad woman girl, I'm not going to sell you, you know. So you walk away, and then you kind of get angry. You know, did she know who I am? I'm a high soul lady, you know. I'm a doctor, I'm this and that, you know. And then you get angry with yourself, all these things, fighting in your head. So this is just a couple example, but in fact, our physical self have to deal with so many diverse problems in the world, right? So many problems, you know. You cannot make people like you, make everyone, you know, who deal with you like you. Some people hate you, and then if you have to happen to be near someone who have who hate you, you know, give you lots of grief and all these things, you know, and. I mean, the word unemployment alone can give you a lot of heartache, headache, right? 
and make your what's it, you know, upside, make your life up turning upside down. Okay, we just and, and if you all make a uh, the tsunami, we all know that you know make a lot of people, you know, uh, living in in great suffering, night, death, and all these. Okay, so humans, you know, uh, problems is very much like a big wave that throw us back and forth in this, you know, gigantic ocean that full of problems, waves of problems. And some of them really drown you, you know, really drown you, make you, you know, kill yourself, all these things. But all these problems, you know, which is so diverse that how can you deal with them? How can you deal with them? Where is my picture? All these problems is very much like, uh, yeah, very much like the balloons of problem which has very, you know, different colors, which represent the individual problem which is not all the same, you know, not all the same. And the way that we solve the problems in our world is by just like using a pin, you know, and pop all these balloons of problems one by one at a time, which means that we always solve the problem at the in we saw, you know, how can you go and, you know, catch all these, you know, criminal one by one. There is no way that you can do it, isn't it? You know, in England, we had this uh, riot not so long ago, and then the government, you know, catch by using all the CCTV camera, you know, and catch a good two thousands of them, you know. And Cameron said that, you know, if you are young enough to commit all this, you know, defense, you're also old enough to spend your life in jail. And you know what? Some of them, only 12 years old, 10 to 12 years old, so young. And you're going to put the 12 years old in jail, okay? Let them take the consequences. And they come out, they'll be a big, a, a, a more expert in, in vandalizing. Okay, so this is all about, you know, solving the problem at the end of so, And there is no way that you can catch them. The jail will never be big enough to put all this criminal. No way. So the, the, the Buddha said that, look, there is no way that you can pop all these balloons of problem one at a time. Because the reality of life is that the old problems go away, the new problems come. Right? Because Human's problem is subject to your genders. Male and female, the so problems are different. And subject to age, the children, their problem is just one nature, right? It's schooling, so the problem is just one thing. But when you are in the in the age that you are courting, or they said the problem also another nature. And when you get married, the problem also get another nature. With children, is another nature. When you get old, it's another nature. It's not the same. Some people like to look at life in a in a in a chunk. That okay, I already finished my high education. I'm a doctor now. I'm going to set up my own business. Have a good wife. You know, have 2.4 children, and I'm going to live happily ever after. But in fact, happily ever after is only existing stories. Not in real life. Not in real life. Okay, okay, at 40, you might have everything that you can wish for. Okay, with a good wife, good children, all these things, you know, with big business, everything. But 41 years old, oh, my wife having cancer, the last stage now, she's going to die. Okay, 42, your son might be hit by a bus and dead. What is the real happiness? And all these things, you cannot say that, no, no, it's not going to happen to me, I'm fine. No, only stupid people can say that, okay? Because there is no way that we would know. And with all this natural disaster, how can you guarantee that life will be okay, will be happily ever after? There's nothing like that, okay? So, don't look at life as a chunk that will be like this all the time. Life is an ongoing process with ongoing problems all the time, okay? And as you get older, you thought that life should be set on old now. All these young people will look after me. If not, the state will look after me. But it's not always the case. Your pension can be reduced right down. In England now, we, the pension age 
It can reach as far as nearly 70 years old. Nearly 70. Okay, I won't get my pension until about 66. So you got to keep on working. So how can you live happily after after? I don't know. Okay, no, I know the answer. So, <laughs> the Buddha said that. The Buddha said that. Let's make life easier. Okay? Instead of stabbing all these, you know, individual balloons one at a time, why not gather them into one big balloon of problem? And then we're going to use uh, this gigantic pin and then punch this big balloons of problem and then let all the problem just disappear in one go. Which is the way that he said that instead of going catch the big no ones at a time, let's solve the problem at the source. All these criminals, why they act unwholesomely? Because they got the bad thought, right? It becomes with your bad thought in here first. So bad thought create the bad speech and then the unwholesome act. So why not to go straight into the head and take away all those bad thoughts, okay? And replace with good thoughts so that they can have good speech and good action accordingly. So this is exactly what the Buddha do. So this is how he solved the problem at source, doing this, okay? So he said that, he said that, no matter what problems, what nature of problem that you have externally, okay? Those problems, they always come in the form that, the problem that come with sights, the problem that comes with sound, smell, taste, and texture, okay? Suppose this. The problem that comes with sight, the sight of the market, the sight of the, the vendors, the sight of the orange, right? The orange that causes the problem, okay? The problem that comes with sight, the sight of our friend, of our partner, of our boyfriend, girlfriend, the problem that comes with sound, is the sound of fighting, arguing, the sound of swearing, shouting, okay? The problems that come with smells, the smell of the perfume, the aftershave, the smell of the market, the smell of the orange or whatever, the smell of the taste and the smell, and not the taste, and the problem that come with texture. So anyway, you know, the problems, just one single, you know, uh, a real situation alone like this. The Buddha said that, summarize them, conclude them into the problem that comes with sight, sound, smell, taste, and texture, okay? So all these sight, sound, smell, taste, and texture, which is the sense objects, they are the data. The data or the information of problems that your physical self or your shell go to deal with. But this is your physical self, which is not the true self yet. So your physical self is only the bridge, you know, the bridge that will let all these data of problem go through. Let all these data of problem go through, travel through. So that's why this physical body have eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and skin to receive the data of problems that travel into your physical body. Okay? Travel into your physical body. So, let's have a look at this. So, what's happened is that you've got, don't worry about the color, okay? In Thailand, we have, we have, you all have heard about the red and the yellow, what, don't you? The red shirt, and the yellow shirt, and these things. And then, and then I come up with these two. And they say, that, why, why, why are you doing that? I say, in fact, I got five colors. I got green, I got blue, I got another color. But I smacked them a lot until I got only two left. And it's happened to be red and yellow. <laughs> Amazing. I don't deal with politics. So anyway, your physical cell, okay, deal with your sight, sound, smell, taste, and texture, right? Okay, which are the data? So all these things, consider in the material form. Even though the sound that but to the to the Buddha is still classed as the material form. So